15th intermediate Excel tutorial and this tutorial is going to teach you how to use a drop down menu validation but using a list in a separate uh, worksheet so you can't do this normally um, you have to use a, a feature of Excel um, that is called defining name ranges um, so what is a range first of all so a, a range is just a selection of cells so say c2 to d2 here that's a range or if i highlight a bigger range so d5 to i17 that's all a range as well um, so how do we name a range well simply you select the range you want to name you go up here to the name box you click on it and you overwrite what it says in there. So we're going to put my first range. And you notice I've put underscores in instead of spaces. That's because you can't use spaces in the name of a range. Um, so what has this done? Well, if we click on the little arrow next to the name box, click on the range, and you notice it then highlights the range again. Um, so that's how the, that's the quickest way of naming a range. You can also um, define one by going into insert, name, and define. And then you'll notice it comes up with a list of all your ranges in the workbook. If we click on this one, then it'll show us what it's actually referring to down here, and we can edit it. So this is the only way you can edit one once you've made one, is by going into here. Um, you can also delete one in here. So if I get rid of this, then it's gone. Um, then so you can also make a new one in here so I want to make one called months um, and you can either type it yourself uh, or you can just click on this button here and highlight what you want it to be um, notice it's used absolute referencing um, which will become important later on um, when I show you how to use the name ranges for your formulas um, but for now, for just naming a range, um, just keep it as it does it here with the with the the percent signs in. Um, click OK, and then you notice that the one that I made before was gone because I deleted it. And if I do it on months, then it selects all the months for me. So how do I convert this into my drop down? Well, if I go to data, and then validation, um, and then if I make it so I've selected list um, and here I just type equals and then the range that I've just made so type, just type the name so months and click OK and then when we select the drop down you can see that it's gone into that back end sheet um, and it's changed them in here so this is quite useful for many reasons. First reason is it means you can put validation on a different sheet, which if you're using a kind of t standard Excel table format where you've got your columns across the top and just filling it in here, you don't want to be messing around with validation over here because then people, when they delete rows in, the, in your table, they're going to delete your validation as well. So you really want it on a different page. Um, and also it means that if you ever want to change the validation on all of these, you just go into here and go, okay, um, I don't want people to be able to do December um, uh, or November. Um, in fact, I only want to do them to only do the first half of the year. And then when you go on here on the drop down, you'll notice that it only gives them the options for those day those months. Um, so that's it for this tutorial. Um, the next tutorials are going to be going on to the advanced tutorials, um, but they're going to continue for the first couple this theme of naming ranges and show you how you use them in your formulas um, and how you can also use them to write your own formulas. So thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the advanced tutorials.